So we back with another video and today we got y'all boys with the next gen takeovers Now when it comes to the current gen takeovers, it's really just as simple as that Now we got the next gen that pretty much takes those current gen takeovers Splits them up into a lot of different things Even some of the stuff that they split up don't even go for like playmaking They have ankle breaking shots on playmaker on current and on next gen is really strictly shot creator but yeah we're pretty much gonna be ranking every single one of these putting them into a tiers um and so forth and so forth so let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think is the best combination of next gen takeovers in the game what do you think is the most overpowered takeover in the game and if you think there's something that should be higher or lower also put that in the comments down below now if you did enjoy the video by the time you end up watching it make sure to like the video make sure to subscribe if you're new turn on the notifications to be the first to all the videos and without further ado no more talking Let's hop into it. Let's go! All right, next we got the next gen takeovers. When it comes to the next gen takeovers, it's way more because they just pretty much split up all the current gen takeovers. Bro, you be catching me off guard with that TTS. I can't lie. Now, when it comes to the takeover uh, tiers, it's gonna be the same except now we have a don't use i feel like it's just not as balanced as the current because we had the current gen takeovers for so much longer but yeah definitely gonna be still pretty much the same tiers it's just not don't use advanced gathers though advanced gathers i would say is a usable it's a lot more i would use before it but i can see people using it because it does have some overpowered stuff to it when it comes to like it's pretty much fancy footwork from like 2k20 but it's a takeover now um advanced post moves is pretty much anytime you want to do like a drop step a post spin stuff like that I'd say the drop step portion is broken. Everything else is top tier. But the drop step portion is what makes it broken. Ankle breaking shots. Ankle breaking shots. I would say it's top tier because it, it helps you make a lot more. I think it's for, it helps you make more spin jumpers too. So it helps you make spin jumpers, hop jumpers. Um, it takes people's ankles on stuff like that. And I think you can do like moving step backs as well and take people's ankles with that. So with that being said, I would probably say with the totality of everything it does, I say it's overpowered. Box out wall. I say box out wall is usable. I see people using it, but I personally wouldn't use it personally. Easy blow buys is a top tier takeover easily. Like I feel like that's one of the, that's a takeover that's really on the level of a limited range. It's just like it's not gonna give you an automatic point. It's gonna make you way, way harder to guard because you can use the blow by to do a hot back to get a three off, but you can also use the blow by to get an automatic two. But you don't also you also don't even need to blow by people to get automatic two or to get an automatic three. So it really it just makes it easier, if anything. So I say it's top tier. It's not broken per se, like limitless. I would probably say limitless is broken because of the fact that it just makes it way harder to guard because you gotta guard people from way further. So we're making a lot more space to get to the rim. But yeah, that's what I would say. If it, it has jump shot contest, this is another one I would say is usable. It's a very, very good takeover though. That, don't get me twisted. It's very, very good. It's just like you can just use um, challenger to the highest possible. And yeah, people may still get greens, but like just think about it. Like you're using a takeover strictly to get contest. I personally wouldn't do it, but I can see people doing it. Like if you're like a pure lock or something like that. And like you tired of people getting greens on you you want people you want to be pretty much anytime somebody you guard somebody and they trying to shoot over you crab you all that type of stuff they're never gonna be able to green that pretty much so yeah I, I can understand that but yeah extreme clamps extreme clamps is a top tier takeover it's gonna get you the craziest bumps possible no matter what your perimeter defense no matter what your strength is it's just that simple for your build now if you have a really high perimeter defense and really high strength it's gonna be even better but it's just gonna get you to the max capable of bumps for whatever your build had it's just that simple now finishing moves finishing moves is kind of tough because they buffed it i'm gonna say it's uh broken because again rim running is just so popular and it's just what people want to do so i say it's definitely broken but besides that i would just say i would say since they have now buffed the fact that you can get greens on content dunks way more since like season two it could also be broken off that as well so not only is it gonna make it a lot easier to make dunks but you can green like the drop the um dunk meter dunks a lot more glass cleaning dimes i would say that's usable i can see people using it 
I personally wouldn't do so, but I can see people using it. It has its use whenever you get like a rebound, you outlet the pass. If you get an offensive rebound, you pass it out and stuff like that. It's going to make it a lot easier for people to shoot. So anything, any badge, I say this all the time, any badge that help people green, that's always going to be a good badge in my opinion. Interior badge drop. I would say since we've kind of had this debunked already in the comments section of the last video, I think the last two videos, I think I just forgot the video prior. But if you double up on takeovers like this, apparently it doesn't actually drop people's badges by two anymore. I know it did it last year and the year before, but it doesn't do it anymore. So that's a pretty significant nerf to these badge drop takeovers. And I don't even know if I fully believe that. But if we are going based off that, I have to say that this is just a usable a takeover. Because it's just dropping people's badges one tier. Like, that's not a big difference, in my opinion. Limitless range. Um, limitless range, that's definitely broken. Went over that already. Do I need to really explain why limitless range is broken? I don't think I do. Negative impact, do I need to explain why this is broken? You can green any contest as long as it's a fade. I don't think I do. Uh, and not just any, like, just fade. You can do a pull-up into somebody. You can do a hop jumper, a spin jumper, all that. It can be any contest, and you have a, you can green it. It's that simple. Very broken. Paint Intimidation, that's definitely a top-tier badge. Not really. It probably will be the best in top tier. It's, a, it's one of the most needed takeovers in the game. It's not overpowered or anything, but it is a need thing. Pyramid Badge Drop, I would say this one is more top-tier than the interior because... Anyways, um, interior badge drop, I don't think it's as good as perimeter badge drop because interior badge drop is strictly on the interior where perimeter badge drop, I feel like locks can get more use out of that. Now, I think depending on what you're playing, you may, if depending on if you're big, you may get more use out of that because I feel like you, it'll be more chance of people dumping the ball down into the paint than in a 3v3 or 2v2 setting. 1v1, I can understand it a little bit, but I would probably say it's more of a 5v5 takeover, but yeah. I would still say it's still more of a usable because you can't really use it everywhere. I think you can use perimeter badge drop everywhere. I can see people using it everywhere. Even if it only takes people takeovers or badges down one tier. Post playmaking, that's a that's a usable. I can see people using it. Not that crazy. Uh, post shot daggers, this is pretty much going to make you be able to make any shot out of the post a lot easier. That's going to be a very overpowered takeover for me. Bat downs, that's a very overpowered takeover for me. Probably even needs to be patched. Pull up precision, that's a uh, top tier. Um, I wouldn't say it's broken, but it is a really, really good takeover. It's right there on that edge where, like, pretty much fades are really, really easy, but I don't think it's on the same level as a negative impact, the finishing moves, or the limitless range, and stuff like that. See the future. This is one the takeover, I would say, for glass cleaners that's actually top tier because this is going to let you know if people are making or missing and where the ball is going to go and stuff like that. So I do like that takeover. Spotter precision like, is, for me, a top tier takeover because... That's going to be pretty much making it a lot easier to hit your shots. It's not going to be broken, per se, this time, but it is going to make it a lot easier. I've seen a lot of complaints about shooting this season, which I don't really understand fully, but it, I guess, um, yeah, top tier. Um, stuff blocks. Stuff blocks, I would say, is top tier. Um, it's going to make it a lot easier to get blocks. You're going to get more block animations. This is just block animations within this takeover and all, all type of stuff like that. Now... Since we have covered how takeovers don't, doubling up on takeovers is not really that OP, I think team badge boost out of all these would be the best because it is going to raise people badges up a tier and it's not like, I'm pretty sure you don't have to pass it to them, but if it is, if you if you do have to pass it to them, it's still good, but if you don't have to pass it to them, you could really argue that it's broken. Um, team ratings, this is going to raise your teammates attributes up plus four. So say for instance, if you have floor general on, hall of fame, plus four plus another plus four that's gonna be plus eight so that can be plus eight to your teammates attribute that could be really crazy but and depending on if somebody's using juice and stuff like that that can be really crazy but i'm still putting it top tier and then team takeover boost this is the one i personally can't get behind too much now i probably say this is usable now if i had to say any of these and usable don't use it would probably be this one because of box out beast it would probably be this one because of post playmaker and this one because again post playmaker those would be the ones i'll probably rate lower but honestly i can't see people using it so that's why i did put it in usable but if i was to say what well, i for sure if i had to nominate three badges to lower 
it would be those three. That's what I would say. But yeah, man, that's going to be the end of this video. I got one more takeover video I'm going to go over for y'all boys. That's going to probably be the takeover pricks. But yeah, if you guys do did enjoy, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, comment down below, help the algorithm, share this video to anybody think will help, turn on notifications, be the first to all the videos, share this video to... I don't know why I said that again. But yeah, that's going to be the end of this video. I appreciate y'all boys showing the support. We're going to try our hardest to keep these channels growing on the backups and stuff like that. But if you guys got anything that you guys want me to drop, just let me know in the comments down below. I know I got a lot of parts I got to drop for all these other games, but this stuff does help a lot. So, yeah, I do appreciate y'all boys showing the support. So, yeah, that's going to be the end of this video. Without further ado, man, it's your boy Fitz. And I have to be, man. Tell him to bring me my money. Yeah!